In the spotlight this morning, do you believe in magic? Well, we hope you do because our next guest, Andrew Cipolla, is here to share some of his work. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. We, Will was just in the kitchen uh, with Dan's Carriage in and Saloon, and you actually perform. Yep. Every Saturday night. Um, so basically, I walk around from table to table, and I do a little mini show mm -hmm. while people wait for their meal, and it really passes by the time while they while they wait, and it really changes the atmosphere of the restaurant, makes mm -hmm. it a lot more enjoyable. Some people come in, and they're having a really bad day. Mm -hmm. They just want to get out of the house, and then they see a magician at a restaurant, and it's like, wow, it really yeah. changes their attitude and put smiles on people's faces, and that's why, that's why I love it. You're in awe, and you said this is something that you started at a really young age. Yep, about, uh, I was about eight or nine, and I actually got into it with my brother. Me and my brother, we found a uh, all, all magic set that belonged to my oldest brother. I have two mm -hmm. brothers, and then um, we got fascinated just with the little magic set, and we just started doing tricks for our families, our friends, and whoever we could do magic for. And then we started doing birthday parties, and now it, it just, just spread now from there. Now it's to, to yep. dance. Yeah. And you're going to do a trick for us today? Yeah, let me show you something. Uh, okay. Let me have you stand right over here. All right. And um, this is a trick I like to do at the restaurants, one, one of my favorites. And it involves a deck of cards. They're all different. Okay. And what I'm yes. going to do is I'm going to riffle through the pack, and you can see that they're all different. I want you to just say stop, and you're going to stop on a random one, all right? Okay. Here we go. Stop. Right there? Are you mm -hmm. sure? Yes. I want you to take the card. I want you to show it to the camera, but I don't want to see it. Okay. Make sure the camera sees it. Make sure you memorize it. Okay. I'll take it back. Perfect. Face down. I'm going to lose it into the pack. Give it a couple cuts. And we're going to come back to that in a second. Inside my pocket, I have a small, two small little objects. Okay. I borrowed them from my toolbox. I have them over here. It's uh, two little washers. Have you ever seen a washer? Yes. You know, washer. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, actually, some people wear these around their necks for good luck. Do you know that? I, did not I don't know, know how that. they get their head through the tiny hole, but they wear them around the necks. <laughs> the jokes aren't as good as the magic. <laughs> All right, I have two of them here. Just point to any one out of the two, which I'm going to point to are going to use. Oh, this one. one, I don't place this one here. Hold out your hand nice and flat. I want you to hold on to it. Squeeze it real tight. Keep on squeezing nice and tight. Don't let go yet until I say so. I'm not letting Perfect. go. Keep an eye on this one. I want you to feel that. Can you feel? Make sure that's a real hole. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah, right through. If I take the hole, I'm going to give the hole a little bit of a rub. If I rub it just right, can you zoom in on that? You can actually see the hole starts to move off the washer just like that and I'm gonna toss it out the deck. Now you picked a card earlier, correct? Yes. If I spread through the cards, there's actually one card in the deck that actually captures the hole. You can see there's a hole in one card. What was the card that you picked? The Six of Diamonds. Six of Diamonds? The only one oh. with a hole in it. I want you to feel that. Make sure that's a real hole. Yes. It's a real hole? It's so weird. Now you've been holding onto that washer yeah, the entire time. a whole bunch in your pocket too. <laughs> you've been holding onto that washer the entire time, right? I think watch, so. Now watch you the card. If I take the hole on the card, I can actually get the hole to move. If you zoom in on it again, you can see the hole moves back off the card. And I'm going to toss it right inside your hand now. What? I want you to slowly open up your hand. Take a look. You can see that there's the other okay. hole. Okay. It's weird. Two that holes. is really weird. Sometimes I miss the washer, then there's a hole in the hand. So I'm glad that worked. I don't want to get sued again. That I'm was kidding. <laughs> that was in my hand the whole time. That's impressive. It's weird. Thank you. You're welcome. You Thank have, you. <laughs> you, gosh, man, who are some of Thank your you. inspirations? You can check it out, make sure it's normal. Uh, my inspirations, um, I have a lot of inspirations, um, a lot of favorite magicians, um, ranging from all the way up to David Copperfield to yeah. just a lot of my close friends, uh, my friend Matt Franco, who's from right here in Rhode Island, who yeah, won, won America's Got Talent, big inspiration to in me, and uh, he's mentored me over the years, and I have just a lot of, a lot of mentors, a lot of friends that have inspired me over the years, and well, it's just a lot of fun. it certainly worked. It's, <laughs> I, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, don't forget, you can see even more of Andrew's magic every weekend at Dance Carriage and Saloon. Impressive.